Hi all, um, this is um, Oli Wu again. I uh, actually just learned that I shouldn't say hi guys because it's exclusive. So please um, bear with me if I fall back into this habit again. But hi all, hi y'all, hi folks, um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, of course. Um, this is uh, hopefully another fun tutorial. The last one was again a little bit more about setup and technical and, and longer. But you, I think, noticed by now that we have to go through these um, theoretical uh, parts also uh, to lay the foundation for the next steps. So what I want to do now, hopefully in just the regular 12 minutes, is just play around a little bit, have fun. And I first want to show you um, how I play with the sounds of this um, registration. Personally, I like to call that a performance mode because um, we've been mostly been doing programming and recording and maybe producing uh, our style with those eight different parts and those two different style variations, currently A and B. And I can already tell you and foreshadow that we will add more parts to this and I might do this as part of my own homework assignment um, just so that we have a more realistic style where we usually have at least one intro section and probably all of these main sections or variations and then um, an ending. And maybe we're running out of sections, already hinted at that in the, last to, uh, to in the last tutorial of last week, that then there's also tricks around that. Okay, so uh, we're not going to worry yet about these um, style buttons on the left side. Um, as I said, songs, that's still a while out. Could be one of the next steps, but doesn't have to be. Depends. You also need to tell me, give me feedback, please, what you want to see next. Um, we talked about setting up these sounds here. Um, and I showed you just very quickly. I didn't give you any big details, but I think you can figure out how to select um, the multi pads and, and these sounds in more detail in the browser. And I think I covered some, at least, of the sound browser things before. Um, and the multi pads, yeah, uh, let me know if you want a tutorial on creating your own multi pads or at least combining them, similar to this assembly mode for styles where we select maybe different ones from different factory presets, um, up to doing that as well. Multi pads are interesting. I'm looking at them now strictly from the performer view. Um, we have here a select button, which is similar to these registration ba bank buttons. I showed you that last time when I clicked them both, they are select. This is where you could select a different one. That's not what I want to do. But one interesting part is when you keep holding that button and you click any of these pads, like so, they're actually starting to blink. And you can do this with any number. And I can already tell you, or show you, when I play my left hand, it's starting to play and it will keep repeating. And you can use this button to stop because right now we're not playing a style, so that button I don't think will work. So this is a specific button to stop them. Also because sometimes you want to stop them independently of a style. You might want to keep playing your style, but you want to go add those additional ones that's, I think, why they're called multi pads. You can just throw them in, and they can have single like sounds, like um, I don't know, some funny sounds, like a, a car horn or something. Sometimes you want that, depending on on um, your um, type of performance, and um, or it can be um, uh, another MIDI pattern that plays along with the same tempo. So remember, our tempo is set as part of the registration. I'm going to go back to home here. And it's right now just 120. And that's the tempo we set also in the style. So our style tempo and the registration tempo in this case are one and the same. Um, the same tempo goes for this here. And they also will sync not just with me playing here, but later if we play the style, they will also sync. And if I do this, they will actually wait for the uh, either the style to start or the next bar at least to start. So it's really cool. I can arm this. And uh, maybe before I start the, the, uh, the style variation, main variation B, so it would come in additionally to the chorus, say, of my song. And there's another one here. You can also play them just by clicking. Yeah, you can play direct, or you can arm them like this. 
nice percussion. So this is why I say maybe you want to make those also your own. You can uh, combine them any way you want. Um, or you can uh, record them yourself, but honestly I wouldn't be good enough to record a guitar like that. Which is very nice. Okay, so even without a style, we can also already s just play around and play a bit of our song. And um, sorry about that. Where's my notes? I think it was A, two bars of A, G, A, C major, D major, um, B minor, and then E major. Yeah, let's try that. Um, okay, I'm just gonna start playing um, along with the guitar. Playing everything live now. There's no style involved. So I have to really play those harmonies. And ideally, I would have another hand so I can select the percussion before I go in the next part. So that is um, we're already halfway there. Uh, let me check the time quickly. At about eight minutes, so I think we can start to um, put it all together. And I mentioned this before in when recording styles, but um, obviously, in order to use this as harmonies at all, this accompaniment needs on to be on. I think. Okay, we, I think we actually noticed that before in a previous tutorial. So, uh, it's the one we did about um, using songs and scores. So, either the accompaniment needs to be on to get these um, harmonies, and then in this case, no sound will be playing, or the left hand sound needs to be on, which will then all, also be playing along. In this case, it doesn't really hurt since I want to use the style anyways, I might as well um, put the accompaniment on for sure. And if I also want to use the left hand sound, which is optional, I can also put that on or off. It will still detect the harmonies. Now the same harmonies um, will usually control the multi-pad um, if they are set to be basically going along the harmonies. Ah, oh, maybe I can show you that. So here's the multi-pad creator, another shortcut I put on here. You can find it in the menu. And here you see we have two guitar um, tracks and we have two percussive tracks. And I'm not going to go into step edit, but you can imagine this looks almost exactly the same with those MIDI controllers and the notes, etc., etc., like in the um, style editor that we know. And you see, um, they're all set to repeat. So if it's just a special effect, it might not repeat, right? It will just be a car horn, like woo, and you can just um, honk it anytime you want. But um, if chord match is also set on, it will actually follow um, the chords that are detected. And since we're doing a little trick and our style, it doesn't follow the harmonies, right? We pre-recorded them. But you notice one thing. If I just click this button, only the two rhythm channels are playing. Now remember, we up-used one of the rhythm channels and used it for a piano sound. So that's why... Um, those two channels, 9 and 10, Rhythm 1 and Rhythm 2, they are playing by default, and that's what's set in the keyboard. And as far as I know, 
that is part of the style and as far as I know you cannot switch that inside the keyboard but I will do a tutorial about um, computer software um, that is free and kindly uh, was provided by the by the PSR community um, and some of them do allow you to set the um, channels that we play by default if you just press start. So normally you just want the rhythm to be there. This could also be used for a break, for example. Now, only if I play the additional keys do these other six tracks come in. Now we need to remember we recorded the style um, with preset harmonies, so let's just do a little bit uh, Maybe just play the A section for now, play along with it. Okay, so you can also save the whole registration with that sync button already on if uh, you basically want to um, play the style right away. So I'm gonna use that. Um, I want the guitar to be there and this percussion on number four. Actually, I'm curious now, let's try this again. Everything is selected like I wanted. Was pre pre armed. This is pre armed. This is on A. You could set this to any uh, intro or any um, variation you want. It doesn't have to be A. This is a trick we will use at some point too. Uh, let's save this. Okay, let's go to another one. Okay, save it. So when I switch to registration bands, it will remind me to save them. I will not skip the step where I save it also to my, my USB. Uh, let's just for fun select any other one, maybe my this is the old one I used. Go to this bank, select this. Oh yeah, it's working. This is great. See? It's all armed. Here's my variation. It's all on. You could save this with some of them off if you want, if you want to start that way. For example, for the intro. Oh, this is going to be fun. Finally, finally. Yeah, and you might have to bring the volume up a bit of these. Um, there's also, um, you can also go into that multipad creator where I just was. Go into the um, step edit and you know by now um, where the um, volume is, right? I showed you everything in the style. So be creative, use that. Like um, save that as your own user multipad instead. Select that user multipad, save it as part of the registration. I mean, this you should be really playing around now and um, just be curious. I mean, um, you can use a lot of the knowledge that we already covered. Uh, we can make the style volume, we can turn the style volume down a bit. Um, I had it at 80. Uh, we can make the multipads higher. That's better. And you notice also when I um, when I stop the style, these guys also automatically stop, and that's one of the settings that is I think in the style settings. I uh, don't think I have a shortcut here. Oh, go. So we use the style creator, multipad creator. Showed you a bit of the splitting here. Let's see. Um, click again. Style settings. Ah, here. Multi-pad synchro stop, style stop, multi-pad stop, style ending, yeah? This one is the one that actually says um, stop along with the style. Now if we didn't set this, always that's what I do, right? Always be curious. Oh, so it stops. Ah, 
you keep playing. Okay, it's this one, style stop. Uh, style ending would be this guy here. I think it might mean that they're stopping when the ending comes, or either when it's ending, when it's stopping after the ending. Again, just play around with it. Um, look it up in the manual if you want, but also just be curious. Play around with it. And um, we set the style or companion to off. This is another trick, so um, that's why we don't hear anything when we play just the left hand. We could play the style or some fixed sounds also, but I decided to keep it off. These settings, I think, are stored globally in the keyboard, not per registration. Okay, keep that on. Uh, one more thing I want to point out, I have, uh, when I set up these sounds here, didn't show you the details, but you can also set the um, octave here in this voice setting tuning tab. So this I'll use a lot, that's why I have it on another button here. So you can... Um, Now usually when you load them, they might be set to different octaves um, or maybe they're all set an octave higher, but I can bring them down here, it's so easier for me to play them. Or maybe even if I use part 3 separately, I can also um, probably want to lower this octave by at least another one, so it's not too high. So that's another setting we can use. Um, we looked at this last time. and. Um, Oh, this keyboard joystick? Yeah, I used that when I want to change the pitch band range. I did this um, Save a Prayer song by Duran Duran, and they really had this set, I think, all the way to 7. So... <laughs> something like that. Um, so, that's something else you might want to save and, and adjust. Um, that pretty much covers everything. We're not yet going into the voice edit, it's a totally different tutorial. All right, um, all you that's it for this tutorial. Uh, please play around, have fun. Use all these um, uh, things uh, that you have here um, to your disposal. All right, see you soon.